Hello my dear children. How are you all? I hope all of you are fine and safe at your home. Welcome to your EBS class. I hope you remember the chapter that we have started. We have started our wonderful body. You know about your body parts? Yes, we have discussed about the external body parts that you can see. And today we are going to discuss about the internal body parts. Means the body parts that we cannot see. So let us read about them. So we'll start about the most important or internal organ that is brain. You can see this is our brain. Do you know how important is this? It helps us to do any other work. It controls all the work that we do. Suppose I am clapping. Let's clap with me. It is also controlled by the brain. Suppose I am blinking my eyes. Suppose I am reading a book. I am writing a letter. I am playing. I am dancing. I am singing. Whatever I am doing. Even now I am teaching to you. This also controls by the brain. And suppose I am asking something to you. Have you studied whatever I taught in your previous class? Now you are thinking. So this brain only helps us to think. Do you know which part of our body protects this brain? Can you see the structure of brain like this? No. Because it is protected by the head. Yes. Touch your head. Yes. The brain is protected by the head. Yes students. Can you hear the sound? Can you guess what sound is this? Yes, you are right. This lub-dub, lub-dub. This is the sound of your heartbeat. And this is your heart. It works like a pump. You can see it works like a pump. How do it help us? It pumps the blood to all part of our body. You know how important the blood is? For our body. So the heart pumps blood to all our parts of the body. And it sounds like this. You want to feel the heartbeat? Yes. Keep your hand on the left side in your chest. Yes. Can you feel the heartbeat? Yes. This is your heartbeat. This lub-dub. Lub-dub. This is your heartbeat. Students, you often go to doctor for a checkup. Yes. Have you seen this instrument that the doctor used? Can you guess it? Yes. This is a stethoscope that is used by the doctor to listen the heartbeat. <laughs> Students, can you guess what the person is doing? Can you hear something? Yes. The person is breathing. This is the sound of breathing. And which internal part, part help us to breathe? Our lungs. We have two lungs. It is also lie in the chest. It help us to breathe in. Can you guess what you do? What do you do all the time everywhere? You all the time what do you do? You do, you keep on breathing. You keep on taking the oxygen. So this way lungs help us to breathe in. So students, now let's learn about the next internal organ that is stomach. Suppose I am eating this biscuit now. Mmm. Do you know where does it go? Do you know after you eat all the food, where does it go? It goes to your into your stomach. It is placed below our chest. This is our stomach. You can see how the food goes into the stomach. Stomach. How how does the stomach help us 
It helps us to digest the food, whatever we eat. So, don't trouble your stomach by eating the junk food. Always eat healthy food. So, my dear children, what did you learn today? Today you have learned about the internal organs that you cannot see. We have learned about lungs, heart, brain and stomach. So, what is your job now? Now, you learn about these four internal organs properly and if you face any difficulties to understand any of this organ, please ask me to clear your doubts. Thank you.